Welcome back. The ANC government in the Western Cape has announced that Kaya Magaka is the new leader of the opposition in the Western Cape Provincial Legislature. This was announced by the African National Congress earlier this week. Magaka replaces Marius Fransman until such time that all internal processes of the ANC are sorted. So let us now uh, talk to Kaya. He joins us in our uh, uh, Pali studios. Good to have you. Thank you very, very much for joining us on the program, Kaya. Good morning, and thank you very much to you, Leanne. Now, you've been named the new leader of the opposition in the Western Cape Provincial Legislature. What does this mean for the ANC? Well, uh, Leanne, I must say there's nothing much. We'll continue playing our role as an opposition in the Western Cape as the ANC, but also we, of course, acknowledge the fact that our provincial chairperson has been put aside for a temporary. Do you think that this has um, uh, put a big dampener on, uh, on, on the ANC and its reputation within the Western Cape from just what's happened with, uh, with Marius Fransman? Not really. The ANC is a very big organization, very broad organization. It's having all its structures in place. Uh, we've got a, pro a fully-fledged provincial executive committee, except the two people that are, be, are still being undergoing these dipl disciplinary processes. But uh, generally speaking, we all our region are intact. Six of them in six regions of the ANC in the Western Cape are all intact. We've got all our election mach machinery in place. And the, all our structures are focusing on the local government election that is facing us. Talk to us about your duties. What, is it, what does it basically include uh, with, within the Western Cape? Well, uh, what I will be doing, I will be presiding over the leadership that we are having, which is the Provincial Executive Committee, while Comrade Frenchman is still stepping aside uh, in the legislature. I will continue doing his work until he comes back. I will be leading that team that is placed there to confront the challenges of our people and try to give an alternative government uh, in this province, which is the African National Congress. Yeah. I mean, obviously, um, you know, the, the, the Western Cape is one of those areas that I know the ANC would love to would love to become the, 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 the full in charge power force there. And obviously, with the elections coming up, this is what you are hoping to achieve. What would you say are the greatest challenges that are facing the Western Cape right now? And, and how will you as a new leader try to 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 bring about some change? Well, the fact of the matter is that we are confronted with a government that is not necessarily interested in the real challenges that are based on the legacy of the past, which is the Democratic Alliance. And that government is implementing policies that are not necessarily talking to day-to-day -to -day issues of the poor people. It's a government that represents a particular class which is rich and white, and ignored the major problems that we are experiencing in townships. When I'm talking to township in Kailicha, in Mitchell's Plain, in Mining Bay, Google, to all over the Western Cape. Therefore, we have a government that spend a lot, a big chunk of their budget in reaching the already rich, white, uh, rich communities at the expense of the poor. Therefore, our challenge as the ANC is to continue uh, persuading and exposing this government to our people so that they can understand at the end of the day that the DA government is there to represent the interest of the rich and to maintain the status quo where white people continue enjoying the fruits of real richness while the poor is still swimming in poverty. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about, well, I mean, you, you talk about some of the issues that are affecting the Western Cape, and I think uh, one of the big ones is certainly the disturbances that we've been seeing at tertiary institutions in the province, particularly some of the events that unfolded at UCT yesterday. Um, what are your views on this? How, as the ANC, would you intervene? How would you do things differently? 
from the beginning of these uh, riots, as the ANC who have been in, playing a central role, we have interacted with our progressive youth movement, which consists of the ANC Youth League, SASCO, uh, YCL, and the uh, COSAS also, in an attempt to try to deal with the real issues that are confronting our people. We actually sympathize with that struggle. We encourage our youth progressive movement to play a leading role in that struggle. Of course, to put the struggle in a right place, not to personalize the struggle, not to deal with the ANC as a government, because there will be no other government which will ever uh, represent the interest of young people, including the student in this country, except the African National Congress. Therefore, we have been playing a leading role. Of course, we know for a fact that the major problem which we need to address is those students that don't actually qualify because of their, their, their parents' earning uh, to access NS, NSFAS, including those students who, who of course, uh, are marginalized because of their middle status, which is the children of police, the children of nurses who earn above that, that threshold. Therefore, we still believe that we need to continue with the struggle until the government come up with a plan to finance those students. However, we are against a policy that will pay for the rich. The rich in this country is accumulating a lot of profits every time, irrespective mm. of recession and anything. Mm. While the poor are a victim of recession, of economic growth and so on. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. we feel very strong that there is no way that our government can subsidize the rich. The rich must pay for the education, but the poor has to be assisted financially to access education. All right. Let's leave it there for this morning. Thank you very much for talking to us here on the program. Uh, Kaya Matakai is the new ANC Western, uh, leader in the Western Cape Legislature, uh, talking to us here after his appointment. And uh, the big thing that, of course, we're going to be watching out for, that will be happening on uh, Friday. It's the State of the Province Address, of course, and we'll see what happens in the Western Cape and the reaction thereof. And I'm sure uh, the issue of UCT is going to come up during this, uh, during this talk. All right, let's take a break. When we return, I'm going to take you back to that bridge collapse here in uh, Johannesburg, the Greyston Bridge that collapsed. Well, uh, the Johannesburg Raid Agency holding a media briefing about the resumption of the M1 Bridges and Highways Rehabilitation. Let's, uh, let's take a break. This will be after this. Stay tuned.